Unfortunately, overnight, two deadly crashes, one of them in Polk County at U.S. 17 and U.S. 92. The other one in Pinellas County that has the entire Johns Pass Bridge blocked right now. So let's start off there in Madeira Beach. This is the bridge that connects Madeira Beach to Treasure Island. A deadly hit and run crash from overnight at Gulf Boulevard and 129th Avenue East. Again, that bridge is shut down. If you're heading to the beach or if you're already on the beach, uh, you will run into a snag and slowdowns getting on and off the island. Detours to the north, the Tom Stork Causeway, and to the south, the Treasure Island Causeway. And we are hearing from our crew there on the scene that this bridge will be shut down for the next couple of hours as crews there continue to investigate. Our Ashley Yore has been on the scene all morning long and has brand new breaking updates on a suspect description. Ashley. Well, Lindsay, right now, uh, deputies here are looking for the driver of a truck who they say hit and killed a woman who was on a skateboard here overnight. As you just mentioned, uh, this bridge is going to be shut down for quite a while, but we now know the driver of the truck that hit that woman. Uh, this woman was skateboarding with a group of friends on the bridge, and the driver just hit her and drove off. You can see skateboards littering the ground here. You can see the markers uh, where they are. Uh, evidence here. Deputies say they found the woman in front of Bubba Gumps and transported her to St. Pete General where she died. We don't know how old the victim is, but deputies are looking for the driver of that truck right now. Witnesses have advised that the driver did stop after the incident occurred, after she was struck, did not get out of the vehicle, he did not exit, and then continued to drive northbound on Gulf Boulevard. Now the truck is a black pickup truck. It could be a Dodge Ram or Dakota. Right now, deputies are not sure if it's a two-door or four-door vehicle. And most notable, it has a lit pizza delivery sign on top of the truck. The sheriff's office says the driver is a man in his late 20s with bushy hair. Back out here live, you can see again, John's Pass impassable right now. You are not going to be able to get over this bridge for several hours. You can see deputies still out here on the scene. Uh, they are taking pictures of this scene right now. And again, those markers show the skateboarders and where this woman was hit. People out here tell me they're upset about this, upset that something so terrible could happen close to where they live. Of course, we're going to keep bringing you updates all throughout the morning. But for now, reporting live, I'm Ashley Yor. ABC Action News.